are many definitions of philosophy. I can say what is my uh, concept of philosophy. Philosophy is the investigation of reasons behind a phenomenon. It can be a natural phenomenon, but in my case, it's an intellectual phenomenon. Philosophy is also an art of asking right questions, and I think that that's the most important part, part of philosophy for me. Philosophy is thinking for the sake of thinking, and that's all. It can be used to solve moral or political problems, to be a better person or more achieved human beings, but it does not necessarily have to be useful in any way whatsoever. The art of living, of working with your head. Yeah, right. Thank you for making the point. Uh, okay, let's, let's listen uh, uh, to Aristotle, what philosophy says. Aristotle says that uh, uh, asking uh, what is philosophy is uh, uh, silly. You know, money for nothing and the chicks for free, as they say. What? That's about rock stars and not philosophers. That explains such a lot about my life. Um, I don't see myself as a philosopher, um, more like someone who studies philosophy. I consider myself rather a historian of literature who is very, very interested in intellectual history, the history of ideas. I, I do not remember the uh, very moment when I became a philosopher. Maybe I never became a philosopher. I, uh, I, from my birth. Well, a basic mistrust in reality and Latin and an interest in obscure thinkers and then you put a fuse to it and watch how it explodes in your head at least that's what happens to me I have no idea given that I'm not a philosopher <laughs> to me um, philosophical thinking is a dimension of human life so Everyone who wants to explore things philosophically and to look into problems and their connections can practice philosophical thinking. Oh, uh, philosophizing is uh, quite a demanding. Uh... I would say that philosophy definitely requires a lot of dedication. It's very time consuming. It can cost you a lot of money given you are a bookworm and you need to go through lots and lots and lots of um, texts before making up or making up your own mind um, but it's also very rewarding uh, it helps you to understand the surrounding world the phenomena taking place in it uh, the people's um, maybe even your own psychology from a totally different perspective it shifts your paradigms it uh, challenges your own beliefs it helps you to um, reason in a more clear more lucid way and all these things all these things I, I think are definitely worth um, the dedication and the time uh, you must spend on studying philosophy I think there's a trend in philosophy not to think in your armchair. Uh, there are two trends in philosophy. One trend uh, is that uh, the, the one of philosopher uh, who speak uh, uh, markedly, unclear and uh, in an un undefinite way. And the second one is uh, of philosopher uh, plainly uh, speaking. You can't really talk about philosophy without any knowledge of history or cognitive science or psychology. To me, history is the most important part. Investigating a present uh, philosophical 
uh, issues, debates and problems through a historical perspective, uh, which means uh, asking if um, the knowledge of the history of certain philosophical problems can actually change the way we uh, face them in the present. It helps us to look at the world in a non-linear manner. It helps us to tell non-linear stories. As the intellectual historian Nancy Stroiber has said, it's like twisting the kaleidoscope. It's a quest for diversity. Or uh, ask again uh, uh, Aristotle, who said that uh, uh, he recommends, uh, I agree with him, uh, uh, that uh, you, layman, uh, can, uh, could start from uh, reading uh, his uh, metaphysics, uh, his uh, Nicomachean ethics, uh, or uh, in case uh, some dialogue, anyone of uh, his uh, great uh, master, uh, Plato. The essays by Michel de Montaigne, because I think uh, they really show how close philosophy can be to human life. Shoshana Zubov's The Age of Surveillance Capitalism. It explains how information, including our emotions, behaviors, secrets, are capitalized by modern tech companies and by modern social media. This book proposes a Marxist analysis to explain why we use internet to share cat videos instead of accomplishing something as big as Renaissance scholars with their printed books. The Women Are Up to Something by Benjamin Lipscomb and it describes how four women philosophers in Oxford during World War II kicked their male colleagues in the doctrinal balls and reinvented ethics. Fantastic reading. I think every day is the World Philosophy Day, so I will be working and studying philosophy. Well, I have already planned it. Um, I think I will be going down the streets, depraving the youth and offending the gods. And then in the afternoon, some good read of Plato. That's my way. Uh, it's Thursday, so it's a perfect day to have a beer with colleagues talking regarding philosophy and our research. I uh, keeping myself in silence uh, and inviting all uh, people to do uh, the same.